welcome to my kitchen. I'm Julia, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a delicious dessert. I showed you so so many times how to make my favorite fudgy brownie, but of course I will show you guys again today. And when it's done in the oven, I will let it cool down, then cut out into some cubes, place in some glasses, and then whip some cream together with some vanilla and in with some strawberries and some chocolate sauce. It is going to be so so delicious and kind of trifle inspired dessert. It is so good, so let's just get started. So first up, I have to make my brownie just to get that done and get that cooled down. So for that, I'm going to use some butter, two eggs and one extra egg yolk, dark chocolate chips, flour, cocoa powder, sugar, an extract and some salt. So I have a pot here on my stereo tub with my butter in and now I'm just going to let my butter melt. And when it is melted, I'm going to add in my sugar. And when the sugar starts to bubble in the butter, I'm going to remove it from the heat. So now I'm just going to add my chocolate into this here. Just stir that in until it is dissolved. And now into my salt. Marilla extract, stir that in. In with the cocoa powder. In with my eggs. And in my flour. Now my finished brownie batter and I just prepared a brownie tin with some parchment paper in and my oven is already preheated at 160 degrees C convection oven and if you don't have convection then have it at 180 degrees C. Now I'm just going to pour my cake batter in here, spread that out and bake my brownie in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. It is very important that you don't give this brownie here too much because then it will lose its, its fudginess in the middle. But when it is done, I'm just going to let it cool down completely. And if you have room in your fridge or in your freezer evenly, please use that because that will just make this process here even quicker. So I'm just going to place this here in the fridge because there's no room in my freezer at the moment for about two hours or so or until it is nice and cold. So before I go to the next step, I'm just going to add some vanilla extract into my heavy cream that I have just whipped. I'm just going to mix that in. And as you can see here, my cream is not whipped over. It's very, very creamy still, or what you can say. It's not too thick. It's still a bit runny. Now that is in. And I've just prepared my brownies that I've just cut into some smaller pieces. Then I have some homemade chocolate syrup here. If you want to give that a go, the link is down below in my description. And I've also prepared some strawberries here. So now I am ready to assemble my little travel inspired dessert. So into one glass here, I'm just going to add in some brownie. Just going to rip it out in some even smaller pieces. Just like that. And then in with some of my cream. And then a few strawberries. Like that. Just a little bit of my chocolate syrup. And then 
some more brownie pieces. And my brown here is going of course completely cooled down. And some more strawberry. This here is going to be the top. So I'm also just going to add one whole strawberry I've just cut into some strips just like that and then on top with a little bit more of my chocolate syrup just like that and I'm just going to do this here until I have filled all of my glasses and then they are ready to be saved This dessert here is just so, so good. I love the vanilla cream, I love the fudgy brownie, love the fresh strawberries, yeah. Give it a go if you want to give it a go. All the ingredients are down below in my description. And don't forget to try out my chocolate syrup as well. Bye.